So let's see how to create a shared region now. So on the web UI, on the web UI, just create. Okay, let us consider a scenario also. In this shared region, what do you exactly want to design? What do you want to show us? Employee data. The current employee data. Nothing but the logged in user employee data. So what we can do is we can write a query for that one. We can write a query to show the employee data. So for that one, what I will do is in the model layer, I will create a demo like. Uh, So let's start from first equal underscore x where person id is equal to select employee id underscore x and equal to where underscore id is equal to and equal to find out value. Okay. So this will return you for the current login details, right? Current login user details. So I'll create a demo based on this one, and of course we'll have a we'll have our own PG. So instead of PG, we can say like in the page in the view layer we'll have a shared region. In the view layer we'll have a shared region, and the control layer of course we'll have a controller for the shared region. Okay. So first of all create the model layer. I think it's data model. So we'll go to the view layer now, server. So click in new view. Showing them as package structure, right? This is not getting shown as a package right. structure. So these kind of things happens, like uh, sometimes, like uh, when you try to extract the project, extract the zip file, and uh, do it. So the only solution for this one is create a new project. Create a new project. Just on the workspace, I'll say create new OA project. Click on next. Let us go with the OA project tool and click on next. And finish. now let's try here. Again, refresh here. Refresh. So this is the developer box itself. As a developer, you know we don't have any solution for this one, rather than creating a new project. Okay, can you see now? Can you see now? Uh, but how did all these items get imported into this project too? The project should be empty project, right? No, no. What will happen is, as per the default, like whenever you create any project, whenever you create any project, anything which is available in the my project folder is automatically shown in all the projects. That's oh, that's okay. the default behavior. But in ADF it is not like that. In ADF it is not not like that. But if you see again, it is showing them twice, right? Can you see? It is showing them twice. So this again one more bug in the jailer. Mm -hmm. So the only solution as of now, which I came across is. Close the table up and reopen it again. It will work fine. Okay. Yeah. But the, if you see this table up ten G is specially for the purpose of OA, right? So there are different versions of table up for the ADF framework also. Like right now, the latest version of table up is twelve G. Now can you see? They are all gone. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Now okay. So yeah. So if we delete one project, all the projects will get deleted, or no, no. If you delete only one, let us say if you want to delete OA project one, simply click on this one. Click on that. That's it. Okay. Double click on the AM here and move the view. Okay. Now, inside the Vivo. Okay. So 
So now what we do is we'll create a page, we'll create a region. Instead of page, we'll create a region. In the web UI, click on new. Go a component and you have to click on region. So most of the time we have been creating the page, right? But this time you have to create a region. So click on OK. And we have mentioned the region name. Now, what is the package structure? We have to follow the same thing like a web UI or lab and the web UI. And now, the region style can be anything. If you show the list of region styles which are available, so better go with the header region first. Header region. Okay. Now, if you create a region, and for the region also, you have to attach AM control everything. AM is always required. In definition, assign the aim. Now, mention the digital text based properties. Okay. Now, in this one, what I will do is right click here and click on new region using user. In the region, again, I am creating one more region. In the region, I am creating one more region. So, this region is fine. So here, as of now, I selected region style as a default double column layout, but I just I, I want to use message component layout. There is a region called message component layout. For that one, we don't have any wizard option. For that one, we don't have any wizard option. So what I will do is, you just create a region using a wizard. Then after that, once it is generated, just simply change the region style. That is one of the tricks we can use. Rather than recreating all the components manually, just create any region with a wizard. And after that, just rename it. Uh, I mean, change the region style automatically. It would but it depends upon the region style which you are converting. But then, for this one, as of now, I'll select it as region style. Region style is default, default double column layout. And let's see how it works. Click on next. Select the columns. Person ID. Full name. Data source. Email address. Employee name. Yeah, these are the columns which you would like to display in the output. Or maybe we can then select three new columns too. Okay. Okay. Click on next and make them all as message titles. Now this is double column layout. So we know how we know how double default double column layout looks like. But I don't want to go with default double column. I want to go with message com, message component layout. So to have a difference between both of them, uh, what we do is let us what you can do is just simply control C, control C, and paste here. Right. So there is one more default double column layout region is created. What I will do is I will change this region style. I will change this one to message component layout. Okay, it is asking us to use it okay or something like that. Click on yes. Now we've got changed here, and here I can mention the number of rows plus column. Let's just say the number of rows you should be seen. Okay, and column will be default, it will take care, of, take care of it. Or maybe we can just mention three rows, ten columns. Okay, now the next functionality what we have is we have to create a controller for this one. So on the top level region of this particular region, set new controller. Employ data region data. Now the definition of this. That's it. Now we have to run the region, not the page. We have to just run the region because we created a region. 
and it is giving some error saying that standalone property should be true. For this reason, there is a property called standalone property. So we will search for that property and make it as true as of now. Make that true. Now we have the reason. Can you see how it is looking like? So the top left, the uh, above one is default double column, and the below one is the below one is message compound layout. So it is not displaying any data because, like I think, the query was not written in the data. Maybe there is something wrong in the query itself. So what you can do is open the query, not in the data before. So I think we have to mention this user ID. User ID is simply put. This is mentioned in your post. Let's try. If it doesn't work, then we can hard code with some, you know, like uh, a person. It should work, but let's see. This is how the data this is how the region is looking like. And if you observe here on the top level address bar, it shows region is equal to not the page, it shows region is equal to, right? It shows region is equal to and it shows the region bar. Okay. And one more thing is I don't want to use two regions. Let me remove the default double column layout region. Okay. And now let me run the region again and see how the result looks like. This is how the region looks like, and what I will do is, so if at all the first, you know, like we will consider two things, right? Like uh, how to use, how to create a shared region, and now we will try to embed this region in our existing pages. We have some set of pages created already, right? So let us try to embed in the existing pages. So let's start with our search page. So in the search page, let us say I want to embed this region. What I will do is, okay, create a new region. Create a new region and better to show this particular region on the top. So I'll just drag and drop in the top like this. And now it should be it should be simply, not the chain. It should be simply. Now here I'll say employee share region. Now I don't want to create the new region again, right? I just want to use the existing shared region. So what I have to do? So simply click on extend property here, and here you have a search button. So you can just click on this button, it will show a pop-up. And you can simply click on search with the appropriate property. But look, if you know the region name, if you know the total region path, don't try to search it ever. So because it will, it's a bug in this one, you'll find it takes minimum half an hour to search it. So better don't click on search whenever if you know the total region path. Okay. So in our case, what is the region path? So this is my region path. This is a region path. Okay. Now by this region, by this part, we can identify our region. So copy. This region part and simply in the extent property paste here and click on enter and observe what will happen once you click on enter. Can you see? So it's showing some grayed out content, right? The search page now it shows some grayed out content under the employee shared region. Now just run this page now and see how it looks like. Okay, can you see that? Correct. Yeah. 
now by just seeing this particular page, there is no chance that you know you can tell that this is a shared page. By just seeing the page, right? Look and feel, you don't you not find any difference at all. You don't know how many shared pages also by just seeing it. But there's a way we can identify whether the set of pages which are there in the page are a shared region or or the pages belong to the existing page. That we can still identify. But not just by just seeing it. Okay. So the same thing, you know, we can use in our all the pages wherever we want to use it. So now it reduces the developer's burden, right? Like creating the same region in all the pages, attaching it, that's really a burden. So by just creating these different components, you can use wherever you want. Okay. And now let me show you one more thing now. But what is the way you can identify whether this is a shared region or not? What is the way to identify this particular content is a shared region or not? So now if you observe in the page. There are some set of profile values which I already enabled. Like, uh, can you see the personalized link as well as personalized region link also? Right. So there are two profile values I enabled. Like, once we get into our personalization training also, I'll tell you. But right now, so there are two profile values which I have enabled. That is called, you know, like uh, FND self-service personalization. Other one is FND personalization region link enabled. So there are two profile values enabled for this user. Now, the first thing what you do is, we just like click on the about this page. Click on about this page. It will show you the total page information. What is the page name? What is the page path? What are the PC project components as well as page layout components? The first thing it shows page path, right? Mm -hmm. There's a page path, and here in the page definition, it shows a list of components which are available in the current page. It shows a list of components. Can you see? Now it shows two controller names: search invoice CEO, employee data region CEO. Mm -hmm. But by just having the different controller does not mean that it's a different region, right? Because there's no way, uh, like uh, generally as per our normal understanding, we can have a we can have multiple controllers in a given page. In a given page, we can also create multiple controllers. But having multiple controllers does not mean does not mean it is a different shared different region. So by this we cannot conclude it's a shared region. And here it shows the business component list. So click on here to show the list of the bc 4 j component like uh, AM, Vivo, as well as Evo. Now, click on return here. So, by just clicking on about this page, there's no solution for this one. But now, next thing what you do is click on. So, even if you click on personalized page, it shows some information. But let us click on personalized at this region level. This region view. This particular table region, we know that this belongs to our page. So let's click on personalize this table region. And just see the properties what it will display. And it displays these properties, right? Like the scope is region and document name is some information, right? Let me make a note here. Scope is invoice data region, document name is search invoice page. And now what you do is again click on back, return to application. Same thing apply on the shared region also. Click on personalize here. And see what it will show. Can you see the difference now? Can you see the difference? It shows employee data region, right? It does not show the page name. Right. But just seeing this one, you know, like as per our understanding, you know what is our uh, what is our page part? This is our page part. Mm -hmm. So now the document name. For the invoice data region, is similar to your page name, but for the document name for the employee data region, it's not similar to the page name. So by just seeing this one, I can say that you know this is the shared region. This is not a region of a given page. Okay. That's how we have to find out. Okay. 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 Yeah. So this is a concept about shared region. So now we just okay. discuss how to create it, as well as how to use this shared region in across the pages wherever required. Okay. So next plan, what we do is like I will try to discuss about the page deployment. How do you deploy the page? Mm -hmm. And then maybe the further concepts which are there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay.